Welcome to Be Me with Shari Ware, the podcast where each day is a step towards a better you and where we focus on progress, not perfection. Join me as we embark on a journey of self-improvement and wellness, focusing on being just a little better than we were yesterday. Hello and welcome to episode 18 of the Be Me podcast. My name is Shari Ware, I'm your host and in this episode we are talking about the power of gratitude and how this simple practice uh, can lead to a happier life and who does not want a happier life. I'm definitely in for that. Um, I don't think you can ever be too happy. All right, so the beautiful Rhonda Byrne Um, who, if you don't know who that is, she is famous. She wrote the book The Secret. Uh, They turned that into a movie. Uh, It went far and wide and uh, it's definitely something, the concepts um, in it, I definitely aspire to implementing into my life. It's something that I I work on a lot, as I'm sure a lot of other people do. Um, And she said that if you practice gratitude a little, your life will change a little. If you practice gratitude a lot every day, your life will change dramatically and in ways that you can hardly imagine, all from a simple practice of gratitude. So let's find out why you might want to do this, why you might want to implement this into your life if you're not already doing it in a consistent fashion. So what is gratitude? So gratitude is exactly what it sounds like, being grateful, being thankful for what you have in life. For It doesn't have to be big things. It can be small things. Um, seeing um, the, the beauty in the small things and, and being happy and thankful and grateful that we have those small things. It can be as simple as a cup of tea. It can be the sunshine in the morning. You know, you, you may not have even had any control over bringing it into your life. It could just be something that is there, uh, but being grateful for it and being thankful, that's, that's what gratitude is. Um, what are the benefits of practicing gratitude. I mean, yeah, sure, I'm sure that most of us are thankful for for these things that we have, but the act of practicing gratitude is actually um, actually acknowledging that, uh, consciously acknowledging that we are grateful for those things, not just taking it for granted that it's there. Um, So why, why might we want to consciously practice gratitude and being thankful for those things that we have. Um, first of all, one of, the, one of the benefits is that it improves your mental health. Um, research has found that um, practicing gratitude reduces symptoms of depression and anxiety. Um, there was a particular study that was published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology that showed that individuals who kept a gratitude journal, and we'll talk about that um, a little bit later on, reported high levels of positive emotions and greater life satisfaction. Because when you're focusing on what you're grateful for, what you focus on is what you get. Um, going back to the episode on the reticular activating system, when you shine the light or the torch on what you're grateful for, then that's what your brain, your subconscious brain is going to continually look for. And that can only have a positive impact on your life. Uh, Number two, better sleep. Um, A study in applied psychology, health and wellbeing found that writing in a gratitude journal, again, we'll talk about that shortly, before bed can improve sleep quality. So by focusing on positive thoughts, you can reduce stress and promote, it promotes relaxation. Um, And part of that is because um, you're getting thoughts out of your head, you're reminding yourself before you go to sleep of what you're grateful for. So you're going to bed on a positive note. Um, number three, it's uh, it enhances relationships. 
uh, it can strengthen relationships. A study published in the journal Emotion found that people who express gratitude to their partners feel more positive toward them and feel more comfortable expressing concerns in their relationship. And communication is key in a relationship. If you don't feel comfortable expressing any concerns you have, then your relationship is not going to be a good one. So um, expressing gratitude can definitely help with that. Number four is um, it, it helps with your resilience. Um, being grateful, pr practicing gratitude helps you cope with difficult situations. When you're when you're used to focusing on the positive things in life, when you're um, even I, I don't know about you, but I'm grateful for every single thing that has happened in my life, even the crappy stuff, because that has, I've learned from it. It's it's made me a, a better, stronger person. It's increased my resilience. So um, gratitude can help you cope with difficult situations by focusing on what you're thankful for. You can foster a more positive outlook, enhance your ability to recover from setbacks. Yes, it's life we're human beings, we're going to have setbacks. But when you focus on the positive aspects and and, and moving forward, um, it will just help you move forward that big quick that much quicker than if you were focusing on negative, on the negative. Uh, and number five, it actually has physical health benefits. Um, studies have shown that grateful people experience fewer aches and pains, they exercise or move their bodies more regularly, and they're more likely to, to um, be taking care of themselves. So now that we know why we want to, why, why do we want to, now we know, how do we practice gratitude consciously if we're not already doing it? So number one, as you heard from um, a lot of the benefits, they uh, incorporated um, keeping a gratitude journal. And that's one of the uh, easiest things that you can do. It doesn't have to be a fancy journal. It can literally just be a, a, a blank notebook. Um, and you just spend a few minutes, it does not have to be long, just a few minutes each day writing down things that you're grateful for. Um, again, this helps you shift your focus from what's wrong to what's right in your life, which will help you to move forward on, on a positive note and will help you achieve things much quicker and be happier along the way. Uh, number two is expressing thanks. Just... This doesn't involve anything other than you saying thank you to those around you. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's um, whether you're saying it to them in person, um, whether you write them a quick note or send them a quick text message, just saying thank you. Um, but it, can, it strengthens your relationships, number one, makes others feel appreciated and it makes you feel good as well. Um, so it's a win all round. It's a win-win situation. Number three is mindfulness practices. Um, so mindfulness and gratitude go hand in hand. And um, it's just about spending a few moments each day being mindful of the present moment and acknowledging the positive aspects of your life and being grateful for, for that. Uh, number four is a gratitude jar you could you could keep a jar where you drop notes about things that you're grateful for um, and over time this is a visual representation representation that can remind you of the abundance in your life so just imagine if you get if you get a jar and you every day you put a little note in it of what you're grateful for you're going to visually see that grow over time and when it's full how you know, even before it's full. But as you can see it really filling up, that's just always going to be a visual reminder of all of the things that you have to be grateful for in your life. Uh, and number five is meditation. So um, by incorporating gratitude into your meditation practice, um, oh, so sorry, you do incorporate gratitude into your meditation practice uh, by focusing on the things you th you're thankful for during your meditation. Um, this can help reinforce positive thinking and reduce stress. Um, and we did already do an episode on meditation. So I will um, link to 
that in the show notes for you as well. So really that's all um, that we're going to talk about on the, the subject of gratitude. It is definitely something that I focus on implementing into my life on a daily basis. Um, I will also, I, I did an edition of Be Me Bites on this subject, um, Be, Be, Be Me Bites 16, it's always a mouthful, um, <laughs> the magic of gratitude, how cultivating gratitude can enrich your life. Um, so definitely check that out. Uh, there's generally things that um, are in the podcast episode. There's always resources that I put in the be Me Bites edition um, that I don't put in the in the podcast notes. Um, so go and check that out. Those resources might be helpful for you. And until the next episode, keep taking one step, step at a time. See ya. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. Remember to check out the show notes. And if you have any comments, feedback or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. If you've received value from this podcast, make sure to subscribe and I'd love you to rate and review the show. Have a fabulous day.